Hey, Michael. Uh, good morning. And uh, I'm uh, Jonathan Gamble. I'm going to be interviewing you today and uh, start off by uh, asking you a few questions and then I'll uh, be able to let you ask some uh, questions here at the end. So let's begin and take a minute or two and just tell me about yourself. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I grew up, born and raised in Franklin, Louisiana. Um, I, you know, I just I enjoy being outdoors. Uh, went to Hanson High School. I went there four years. I went to Centerville from pre-K to eighth grade and decided for baseball reasons, sport reasons, to go to a bigger school and kind of pursue a scholarship, which didn't really work out. Um, and, you know, now I'm just in the workforce trying to find a job in this hard economy. I hear you, man. Uh, well, we have a lot of people applying for this position, so uh, why should we choose you? What, what qualities do you possess? Uh, I'm very self-driven. I don't need anything outside of myself, you know, to drive me to, you know, whatever it is, get up in the morning, motivate me, whatever I got to do. I can. I don't need to seek outside sources to find any sort of motivation. Uh, whatever my job is, whatever my task is, I always give 110%. Always make sure I do it to the fullest. I don't get lazy. I don't get lax no matter what's going on. How small or big the job is, I always give 100%. That's good, man. Um, what is the most stressful situation you have experienced at your uh, current job, and what was the outcome of that situation? Most stressful situation I've ever experienced at my current job is... When we, uh, when we drain tanks, carbon black, it's all gravity fed. So what happens is once you catch your hoses, what we call catch your hoses, when your hoses get empty, from the, from the carbon black coming down, it's sucking air pressure the whole time inside the tank. So what happens is once the carbon black hits the air pocket, carbon black starts shooting out really fast, you know, at a high pressure. Uh, I was emptying a tank one day, first time it ever happened to me. And what happens is the hoses will actually jump out of the car and stiffen up and just start shooting carbon black everywhere. So, you know, I had to hurry up, get on the car, grab the hose, and throw it back in the car, you know, be very proactive and not freak out about the situation, you know, and handle it. I handled it pretty well. That's good, man. It's good that you can uh, work under pressure and, uh, you know, not lose your cool like that. Uh, next question, uh, what are your biggest strengths and weaknesses? I think my biggest strength would definitely be work ethic, you know, 100% all the time, all day. Biggest weakness is I can be a little headstrong. You know, if I if I think I know about something or, you know, I already know enough about a subject, I kind of feel like I might stray away from learning something new about it or an easier way to do something, you know. And I, I try and learn, but sometimes I get a little, little headstrong and think I know everything. This, uh, this next one's a little bit off the wall, but which uh, kitchen utensil do you think best describes you? Uh, that's a good one. I'd have to say, I'd have to say the tongs, man. You can grab anything with a pair of tongs. You know, tongs is a kind of universal utensil. I like the tongs. So you can adapt to any situation, huh? Oh, yeah, anything. I'm in it. I hear you, man. All right, one more question, and uh, what's your favorite uh, part of your job that you're doing now? What do you like the best about it? Favorite part of my job would have to be very safety-oriented. I work at heights every day. I'm always at heights, and being that I'm pursuing this degree, you know, in safety technologies and stuff, I, I definitely admire the fact that I get on in-field training every day. That's good. That, that's going to be an important aspect in the future, for sure, in uh, any job you go to. So, um, thanks, Michael. Uh, this is uh, it for our interview. I uh, thank you for, you know, getting with us and uh, being interested in the position. Uh, were there any questions that you might have for me? Oh, well, that's it. Thank you for your time. All right, man. Thank you. We'll be in touch. All right. All right. Time to reverse the roles, right? Yeah. You are. Right. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. Good morning, Jonathan. My name's Michael Payton. I'll be interviewing today for the position you applied for. You know, I'm going to ask you a few questions, a few off-the-wall questions, kind of get to know you, get to know your strengths, weaknesses, whatever it may be, 
and I, you know, we'll go from there. So um, my first question to you is, please take, you know, a minute or two. Just tell me about yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, like I said, my name is uh, Jonathan Gamble. I'm from Brandon, Mississippi. I'm currently going to school and while working full time, I'm currently working in the oil and gas industry on a drilling uh, operation in uh, West Texas. Um, uh, one of the degrees I'm seeking is also is uh, in safety, and I hope to employ that in the future. And uh, I think it's going to be a really important part of what what anybody does in any occupation in the future. And um, you know, I'm just an average guy. I like sports. I like to be outside, and I. I like to do things on my hands. Good man, good. That's here to good to hear the safety aspect. Safety industry is definitely a growing portion of oil and gas and within the industry nowadays. Question number two: I have many qualified applicants that applied for this job, you know, including you. So, you know, tell me why, in your words, why should I choose you? I have over ten years' experience. Uh, like I said, I'm also uh, going to school and. Uh, I have a, a lot of ambition, you know, I, I have a, a desire to, to move ahead and do things and, and I, like, I like a challenge and I like uh, problem solving and I feel like that I can be pretty versatile in any, any situation that I, I'm put into. That's good. That's good to hear, man. Question number three, what's the most stressful situation you have experienced when the current job you're in and how did you handle it? On uh, a well, it's been several years ago, we took a kick. It was a deep uh, natural gas well in East Texas, and we took a kick um, and were shut in for uh, a couple of days there trying to kill the well and everything. Well, during the time we were shut in and killing the well, we also uh, lost returns through uh, our raised mud weights. We had to deal with that problem, and we had to... Uh, fix the uh, stuck pipe issue that we had. We were also stuck at the same time, all three issues going on at once. Wow. And we had some really good supervisors and a really good team that, that worked well together. And, you know, before the week was out, we were right back drilling. So uh, uh, I had a, a lot of good knowledge and uh, experience well beyond what, what I have that came into play early on in my career and, and uh, helped us out. That's awesome, and that's... That sounds like a pretty big problem. I, know, I don't have no experience with it, but that definitely sounds like a pretty big problem. Yeah. All right, number four. What do you think your biggest strength and weakness is? For my strengths, uh, I, I tend to think a lot and, and try to take in the whole situation before I, I jump in, and I like to uh, utilize others around me to, to their strengths. And uh, work, work as a team, you know, help us come together and play to what others around me do well that I don't do so well. Um, my biggest weakness would probably be that sometimes I get caught up in the details. I think too much before I, you know, move ahead and uh, maybe need a little prodding if there's, a, you know, a situation that requires a little, little expediency. That's good. All right, number five, I'd like to ask a random question. You know, it's, it's a little out there. On a scale of one to ten, how weird are you? Weird. It's an interesting question because nowadays when you have hipsters running around in Star Wars at every turn, you know, <laughs> what is weird anymore? I like to look at it as, uh, you know, people talk about average, but uh, normal, but I, I like to look at it as average. Am I average? Do I do what everybody else does? And I think I, I'm... I'm probably, you know, on the one to ten on being weird, I'd say about a five or six, because I think everyone is a little weird, you know. But you, you, then you have the guys that roam the neighborhood in their house coats and mumble to themselves. I'm not that guy, you know. I'm not to that extent. I'm not a ten on the scale like that guy. But I think, I think we're all, you know, at least a little bit on the weird side. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. You know, weird. And what are you? All right, last question. If you had to choose one word to describe yourself, what would it be? Oh, let's see. I guess uh, thoughtful or, or pensive, you know. I, I'm, sometimes people take me as being, you know, unsocial or, or um, 
you know, uh, extremely introverted or something because even in new situations, you know, in social situations, I, I tend to be, you know, quiet. But most of the time it's because I'm, I'm thinking before I, you know, get too involved in anything. And I, and I do that with everything when from the, you know, picking something on the menu to eat to, you know, uh, uh, thinking about a, a problem that we have on the job, you know, or what direction I'd like to go with something or buying a car. I just, I, I tend to think a lot about, you know, the, the decisions I make and, and um, directions that I head in from the little to the, to the big things. All right, man. Good. Uh, you know, at this time, do you have any questions for me? No, I think I'm good, Michael. Thank you. All right. Well, you know, like I said, we got we got a few applicants and got more people to interview. You know, I really appreciate your time and your effort. You know, and I look forward to to talking to you again. All right. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.